very warm welcome to World 360 special edition on US presidential election race for the White House. The Middle East is in the grip of a trio of wars, all interconnected, yet independent and dangerously unpredictable. Whether it's the possibility of Israel's retaliation or the violence in Gaza and the raging war in Lebanon, all of the three theatres are playing out against a fourth factor, the American election. And with less than a fortnight to go for US to head to polls, race for the White House, deep dives into the minds of the American voters, we bring you the latest from the US. But first up are the headlines. Putin returns to the world stage, hosting 36 leaders at the BRICS summit in Russia. India and China hold their first bilateral in five years, days after India reached a truce with China to resume patrolling in disputed areas along the LAC in India's eastern Ladakh, ending a four-year military standoff. Donald Trump's campaign has filed a complaint to the US Federal Election Commission, accusing the UK's Labour Party of blatant foreign interference in the election. The complaint cites media reports about meetings between Labour and the Harris campaign, as well as volunteering efforts by Labour activists in the US. Turkey's aviation company headquarters, Tusas, attacked by terrorists, killing five people and wounding more than a dozen. After this, Turkey's air force struck Kurdish militant targets in Iraq and Syria, in which more than 30 targets were destroyed in the aerial offensive. And Conservative Party leader Pierre Polyev has criticised Justin Trudeau and the Canadian House of Commons, accusing him of restricting Liberal MPs' freedom of speech. Says Trudeau isn't worth the cost, crime or corruption. Now, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi put India and its messaging of dialogue, not war first, at the 16th BRICS summit in Kazan. The summit held under Russia's chairmanship focused on several global issues, including economic cooperation, peace and security, even climate change and terrorism. Prime Minister urged the BRICS nations to cooperate strongly on terror and unanimously deal with terror financing. He also called for a united front against double standards on terrorism. The Kazan declaration was adopted by the group on Russia's ongoing war with Ukraine, the Kazan Declaration emphasized that states should act consistently with the purposes and principles of the UN Charter in their entirety and interrelation. The declaration noted with appreciation relevant proposals of mediation and good offices aimed at a peaceful resolution of the conflict through dialogue and diplomacy. Now, on the Middle East crisis, the declaration expresses alarm over the situation in southern Lebanon. BRICS declaration has condemned the loss of civilian lives and the immense damage to civilian infrastructure resulting from attacks by Israel in residential areas in Lebanon and has called for immediate cessation of military acts. But that's not all. The BRICS summit was historic as a visible shift in India and China relations was also noticed with Prime Minister and the Chinese President Xi Jinping holding their first bilateral meeting in five years on the sidelines with both underlining that maintaining peace on border or the LAC should be priority and mutual trust, even mutual respect and mutual sensitivity should be the basis of the nation's ties. While both Modi and Xi emphasize the importance of properly handling differences and disputes, Xi Jinping also called for more communication and cooperation and said that people in two countries and the international community are paying great attention to their meeting. Meeting in Russia's Kazan on the sidelines of the BRICS summit, the two leaders welcomed the agreement between their countries on patrolling along the LAC as part of a process they hope will eventually lead to disengagement and de-escalation. The Ministry of External Affairs in India has welcomed the recent agreement for complete disengagement and resolution of issues that arose in 2020 in the India-China border areas. Prime Minister Modi underscored the importance of properly handling differences and disputes and not allowing them to disturb peace and tranquility.